what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for jumping in to this video today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music videos, and I am here in the wonderful world of Grand Theft Auto Online with a couple of my buddies, and we're gonna go ahead and bring up something so fucking interesting it might just blow the top off this motherfucking mystery. We're right over by the police station. And I have a couple buddies with me. I have fellow mystery hunter and YouTuber Shadow Man. Shadow Man, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, Danny? It's good to be here, man. Hell yeah, man. We got some interesting stuff to go over. And we have a couple yep. of our uh, good friends in the lobby as well. We have uh, Mr. Fuji and we have Kairos Power. Kairos, you have some important stuff to go over today, man. Cannot wait to get into it. That's right, man. Let's, let's dive right in. So let's take a look at the Seal of Los Santos. Everyone's pretty much seen it. Everyone knows what's going on with it. You see the Bigfoot. We know what's going on with the Bigfoot. We figured out that Easter egg with the peyote plant. That that was crazy. And actually thinking about it right now, I'll, I'll get back into uh, get back into uh, the golden peyote plant. But going over, right over to the left, you'll see this golden owl. Now, if you happen to just take a, a Google search of golden owl, Eventually, you'll come across uh, what's a, a, a book written by a, a Frenchman named Regis Hauser. Now, he ended up writing a riddle book, and there were 11 riddles in the book. The book is called On the Trail of the Golden Owl, which definitely raises some questions, uh, especially when it comes to this game and the, the man who wrote it, his last name being connected to uh, people who made this game. So uh, we'll, we'll get back into that. But out of these uh, 11 uh, riddles, only 10 have been solved. The riddle was made in 1993. He only anticipated this riddle to last one year. All of the riddles, this whole mystery, the whole puzzle to be solved in one year. It's 2017 and we still don't know what's going on with the Golden Owl. Now. The author devised about 450 man-hours uh, designing these puzzles and, and uh, making sure it's pretty difficult for someone to uh, not solve it, but it, not too, too hard. Um, so what ended up happening, 10 out of the 11 have uh, been solved. The 11th hasn't been solved, has been very close, and, but at the end of the trail, at the end of the trail of the Golden Owl, you, you will find a 33-pound golden jewel-encrusted owl. Uh, it's it's very interesting. It raises a lot of questions. I've talked about this uh, many times with my buddy Illuminati in the Xbox One Chile Mystery Group. I got a great group that I work with over there too. We 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 go back and forth on a lot of stuff. So big shout out to them. Um, but if you happen to uh, just take a Google search and and read some of the riddles ab about what what this man has done, it's it's very interesting. Uh, it's almost similar to the. Um, uh, infinite eight killers riddles if you happen to read them there, there's some similarities between them so definitely look at that for yourself and i i, I can't wait for feedback i've never heard anyone uh, bring this up before so feedback is most definitely encouraged kairos wow, you're dude. blowing my mind here man you're, you're blowing my mind here okay so a couple things that you said really have me uh, interested already first of all there's a guy that, <laughs> that made a fucking riddle okay an 11 part riddle and his name was hauser his name was Hauser. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that that's huge because uh, the people that made this fucking game, uh, their their name is Hauser. Sam and Dan Hauser, like you said, Come so on. that's huge. Uh, you brought up yep. how it's a golden owl, like it is on the seal, and it's a statue, right? You said that they're gonna when it's solved that the prize is gonna be a 33 pound golden statue of an owl, right? Correct. Well, look look right above the owl. We have. We have the uh, the beaver, and we do know that there's a beaver in the game. The only beaver that we know of is that statue of a beaver. Okay, so there's a connection right there, the one that we have in Ludendorff, the statue mm -hmm. of the beaver. And then right next to it, as you said about the golden peyote, the golden owl, right next to Bigfoot, which is obtained by eating a golden peyote. And we do have right. the Epsilon logo at the top, which 
has a, uh, I, don't, I don't know how many there are, I don't know if there's uh, nine chapters, or maybe there is 11 chapters, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on it, but I do th- believe that there's 11 bunkers, we just gotten our gun running update, so we do see the numbers actually coinciding with 11. some other relevance uh, that we've had in the game recently. Interesting thing about this, this riddle, um, the lawyer periodically goes back to the, um, to the final spot where you're supposed to dig up which is, I think, apparently a box, and it lets you know that you have uh, you, you have found the end of the trail of the golden owl, and it gives you a uh, a location to the lawyer's office and where he has the jewel encrusted owl. There's a certain uh, time when I'll switch to Trevor, and he'll be digging a hole in the middle of the desert, and I'm not sure what he's doing. If he's burying a body, if he's digging, looking for a golden owl, or what the fuck he's doing out there. It's the small stuff like that. Dude, you might have just cracked the golden nugget when coming uh, into this mystery full fucking force, man. You're straddling this motherfucker like like a champion, man. I cannot wait to go ahead and uh, show some images uh, and some screenshots from the websites, because I'm going to go ahead and uh, further uh, follow up your, your thoughts here and your, your investigation with this video, and I'm going to go ahead and show some screenshots of, uh, of the actual mystery online so people have a better understanding of it. But like Cairo says, guys, even though you're watching the video and you're checking all this stuff out, make sure you do your own investigations because you might see something or read something differently or spend a little bit more time on something more than I have or Kairos has or Shadow has, and you might actually you know, have that connection hit you and it might just be something that we need that connects the dots and you might just be that key, guys, to solving this. So like I said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and briefly go over the Wikipedia for this golden owl and kind of point out some of the relevance between the real-life mystery and the mystery that we have in this game. And I do think it's very plausible that Rockstar grabbed a hold of this. We do see a statue of an owl over at Two Hoots Falls. We've seen all the connections on the seal, plus the guy that created this real-life puzzle or riddle his last name is Hauser, okay? So there's a direct connection to the guys that made Grand Theft Auto, okay? Dan and Sam Hauser. So I highlighted a bunch of this stuff on the page, okay? One of the things that I highlighted in the first paragraph, it says, buried treasure remains a mystery, okay? And if you think about it, we had uh, buried treasure to find in Red Dead Redemption. So there, right there, is a connection to Rockstar's past, okay? It says that the Golden Owl was his first treasure hunt. He first thought of the puzzle, okay, in the 70s. And we know that the Hauser brothers like to reuse uh, information and puns and a whole bunch of stuff, satire from the 70s and 80s. That's more their time frame of when they were growing up. So this is very plausible that they would have seen and known about this mystery to incorporate it within their game, okay? And it says designing 11 textual riddles now i'll get to that in a minute but that is a big clue within itself as well if we go down a little bit you'll see i have the word diamonds boxed if you look at what the golden owl is actually made out of it says it's entirely made of gold and silver with diamonds on the head okay and this thing is worth a lot of money guys a lot of money now we do know that we have mission called diamonds are for trevor and when you look into the description of that mission it's very, very suspicious as it even uh, hints to, uh, you know, UFO sightings with Ron and stuff like that. But we do know that there's a lot of clues involving diamonds within the game. So definitely pay attention to some of the stuff that we're going over here because this really does make a lot of sense. It also says down there that Valentine also included false trails in the riddles. How many times have we felt like there was a red herring in this game? Okay, a red herring. Hair in. Get it? Come on, the Epsilonists with the red hair. Guys, there's so much that is connected and intertwined within this. It's almost astonishing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next page. Remember I said we were going to come back to the textual riddles? Well, take a look at this. It says the book consists of 11 double page spreads, each of which is a discrete riddle composed of a tile, text, and a painting. Each pair of pages is numbered with a wavelength associated with its colors and with an owl 
face. Guys, holy shit. Do we not have the textile mural? Okay, the textile mural, which is, like I've been saying, I believe is one side of a double-sided coin, which is, you know, the other side being the Chile mural. Both of these murals are just as important as the other, as I believe both are needed to get to the ultimate conclusion of this mystery. And it's kind of funny how there's so much similarities. Rockstar really ran with a lot of this, I think. Rockstar likes to use real-life puns. Remember my underground video from a year ago, guys? I opened it up saying how I found a lot of these clues and a lot of my discoveries by knowing Rockstar. Okay, and Rockstar's not going to change who they are. What do they do? They use real-life puns, real-life satire. Okay, Rockstar likes to play on real life a lot. So that's how I knew that there was going to be underground tunnels over a year ago before there was any news of an underground bunker DLC. Because Rockstar has to. Because it's part of what they do. They had to play on real life Los Angeles. Which, there's a huge, huge real life consistency of murals and underground tunnels within real life Los Angeles. So, we knew that Rockstar was definitely playing on that somehow. So, the same thing here. If there's too much to, to overlook, okay, if there's so many coincidences... When is it going to finally sit down and settle in your mind and you're going to say, this is definitely something. Rockstar definitely has something to do with this. There's so much here, guys. Numbers. Wavelengths. Come on. How many different times do we got to bring these things up individually before we see them all in one place and realize that they're important and there might be a big connection here? Okay, colors. Jesus Christ, guys. We have a color wheel. Shadow Man was talking to me off camera about uh, the color wheel, the characters uh, you switch to. Just think about it. There's a lot going on here, guys, and it's all seemingly fitting into a real-life situation. And I think it's definitely something Rockstar uh, would love to eat up, and I think they definitely did eat this shit up, guys. Let's take a look at the next page. So what we're starting to look at right here is the riddle itself, and then on the right-hand side, the meaning, okay, basically what people have deciphered so far and the explanations and, you know, basically everything that has to do with what kind of progress real life people have done on this real life mystery. Now, if you look at some of these, um, you know, different riddles that this guy has made, it is so crazy. The names of these things, the, the different ways that he uses the, the clues, the words, Okay, it's so much uh, insanity because we have the exact same type of shit in this game. This Chilean mystery is composed of almost everything that we're looking here. It's unbelievable. Um, I really recommend you guys go to the Wikipedia site. I am going to link the page in the description. Please definitely look through this yourselves, guys. There is so much that I want to show you guys. Let's go ahead and we'll continue flipping through the different Wikipedia pages and I'll go ahead and point out different things as I see them. But guys, there's a lot here. You'll see that some of his clues uh, are talking about darkness and shine and light. Okay, uh, there is no worse blind people than the one that does not want to see. Okay, we know see the eyes in this game. We know all the shadows and discoveries of eyes and stuff throughout the game. And a lot of the stuff that's even been figured out so far has incorporated things like wavelengths like I've already brought up and just so many relevant things, guys. I can go on for 25 hours, okay, about this. And I'm doing a lot of my own research. So, guys, let me know if you guys are coming up with anything on your own as you do your own investigations. I urge you to do your own investigations on this because this is definitely a team effort. Like, take a look at this page right here. It says, from the sky comes the light, okay? And then below it, it says, then lend a bow to Apollo, okay? Think about it. On the map, on the physical in-game map, it says, catch the arrow, right? Now we're seeing stuff about the then lend a bow to Apollo, okay? And we have a lot of Greek mythology wrapped around this mystery, okay? Do you see how this stuff is tying together? Look below that, it says the earth opens, and it's talking about uh, two intervals if they were aligned. 
Have I not been showing you guys how the two meals are in line with each other and all the geometric clues within tattoos and shirts they give us online? And guys, take a look at what we're looking at here and how could you guys not see this? I, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to really understand what's going on here and if we as a team can utilize the different tactics and little things that they took from uh, different real life things, I believe that we can solve this mystery because Rockstar definitely likes to use real life lore and, you know, repeat it in their game. You know, sometimes with an ass or a sex joke, but still, I'm telling you, it's right before our eyes, guys. It's right before our eyes. If you look at this page right here, it says, when all is revealed, back to the opponent seeks the sentinels. Guys, I just recently was talking about this with a video that I did on my channel with Dibs. Okay, and we have, uh, what, 11 uh, bunkers in the gun running update, okay? And only three of them are near airfields. So why do they all have signs in front of the bunkers saying Air Base Bunker? It doesn't make too much sense, and I thought it was a clue. And right below it, it says, um, stop at the sentry. Now, a sentry is like a guard or a watch, but we don't have a guard or a watch at our bunkers. Now, if you look up the word sentry, it ties into the word sentinel. Okay, and we see that a Sentinel is actually a type of car in this game as well. I've been talking about rare cars and the relevance with all that stuff as well. Well, the Sentinel is one of the cars that Michael's wife drives. Now, as you can see, guys, there is a breadcrumb trail that is able to be followed, but I cannot do this on my own. I definitely need your help. But if you think about it, there is so many different ways that we can see the connections just by skimming over the pages of this real life mystery okay it says right below when all is revealed it says it's the right way if the arrow again catch the arrow targets the heart and when I made my zombie video my zombie uh, apocalypse video I went into all of the real life and um, you know uh, symbolic meanings of the word heart within this game and how the word heart is a huge huge friggin clue guys the, the word heart is huge, so, I mean, there's so much, I don't even know where uh, to even begin sometimes, but I really do believe in this community, and I think we all are going to get together and really uh, nail this one out of the park, because we're good like that, and you guys are great hunters, so I am not worried at all, I just think that this is going to be uh, a hard road ahead of us, but at least I feel like I have a starting point now, because... There is so many real life mysteries and video games that tie into real world things. Like we brought up before on the channel, the Trials Mystery. Okay, the game's Trials HD. It was a side-scrolling motocross game, but it actually involved a huge mystery where you wouldn't even believe that that kind of a game had the budget for this type of thing. But the real life mystery of the Trials Mystery uh, had people going in real life, digging up boxes in real life, and there was five total keys hidden within five boxes underground that will open up a, uh, a box one day under the Eiffel Tower in a hundred years from now. So the people that find it won't, e won't even ever be able to know what's inside of it because they'll be dead by the time it's available. Their granddaughters or grandsons will have to open it or whatever. So if you guys haven't checked out the Trials uh, Mystery, go ahead and check that out because there is real life video games that have real life mysteries inside them that take you to real life locations to dig up real life fucking boxes just like this guy has us digging up a box to find the fucking golden owl and I do believe Rockstar played on this I really do because Rockstar destroys their competition every time they come out with a game you think they're gonna let someone like Trials come out and make a mystery that's gonna kick ass and they're not gonna beat them? Get the fuck out of here. Rockstar is gonna top that shit and this is their perfect avenue if they were gonna do such things. This is the final uh, piece of the riddle here. This is the 11th part and it says, the good way, it is the way of the opposite way and vice versa. This is kind of like Epsilonist talk, is it not? It kind of makes me feel like Chris Fermage is saying this shit. But if you look at it, there's a whole bunch of numbers. Even on the bottom where it says notes, there's more numbers and orders. Now, one thing that Illuminati brought up to me in a chat yesterday was the numbers that are on the eastern 
throughway here in the game. Okay, on the Eastern Highway, there's a set of numbers on the side of the throughway that don't have any um, meaning yet. The coders haven't found out what it's about. There's no rhyme or reason for it, but it obviously means something since it's not copy and pasted throughout the entire map on every throughway. It's only found in one spot on one piece of throughway in the game, and that's over on the Eastern Highway near like the windmills and stuff. So this definitely makes me think of that. And you never know what Rockstar did here, but the more that we look into this real-life mystery, okay, the more I'm starting to notice things and remember things and connect things that we have as fragmented clues within this game. So the more minds that get on this, the more we have a chance of actually progressing within the Chilead mystery. And then here's the additional notes page, okay, or additional clues page, I'm sorry. When looking at this, this is pretty crazy. The first sentence says, after releasing the book, Max... Valentine gave some general clues about the game. They called this riddle or mystery in real life a game. Is that not something perfectly in line with what Rockstar would use? Come on guys, we're in a game playing a mystery within a game. This is ridiculous. Okay, and this is in Europe. This is not in America. This guy is in Europe and this thing is hidden in Europe. And one of the places that uh, they, um, that people have thought that it was uh, buried is Mont Saint Michael. Do we not have a character named Michael? And are the Hauser brothers not from Europe? Come on, there is so much, guys, so much. And if you go ahead and look a little lower on this page, you'll see that um, Valentine said that the book's readers have collectively got 95% of the solution but as they are not sharing and communicating their solutions, they can't get the less of the 5%. Okay? No teamwork, no owl. No teamwork, no solving. No teamwork, no conclusion. No teamwork, no fucking jetpack. Basically, that is it in a nutshell. I am convinced. There is so much here, guys. There is so much here. Now, as we're looking at the final section of this uh, Wikipedia page here, okay, based on this real-life mystery, there's a lot jumping out at me. On the second paragraph, if you take a look, it says, Other treasure hunters think that the odd department plays an important role. They focus on the 470 illustration and try to find the good light from Ronovox pho phonetic similarity links the odd department with the Ob River. And it says, Ab is the French word for dawn, with the sunrise, okay? Look at all of the key words jumping out at us. And we do have a little stream or river by Two Hoots Falls, which also has a statue of a owl. Not a statue of a golden owl with diamonds, but a statue of a wooden owl. Nonetheless, it's still a statue of an owl. Now, a little bit lower, we have other things that are jumping out at me as well because it says over the years treasure hunters have found many elements in the paintings including hands eyes people gods tools and even submarines have we not been given submarines in the game okay have we not had all of these different elements huge clues within the mystery thus far and then it says that they have inferred various 12th riddles involving, among other things, Napoleon and obelisks. Okay? We were given obelisks in the yacht. We were... Oh shit, there's an obelisk at the observatory. Guys, there's so much that we need to look into when looking into this. And then also at the very bottom, it says that he claims that the puzzle uses the concepts of darkness and light. And that it has five parts. If Rockstar was going to play on something, it would be something that is definitely uh, coinciding with the game that they're on. GTA 5 and a real-life mystery with five parts. The connections are fucking through the roof. Unbelievable. So looking at the seal one last time, guys, it is definitely not hard to wonder if this connection is bigger than we may think as we are looking at the Golden Owl, which is relevant to its next door neighbor, Bigfoot, as we need a golden peyote to become Bigfoot. And finding that real life mystery will give us a statue. And we have a statue of the beaver in Ludendorff. It's all going full circle, guys. 
But this shit is crazy. Kairos, once again, come into the channel with some important and awesome revelations. Awesome information, man. Thank you so much once again for your participation. It's always a pleasure having you on the channel, Kairos. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you very much for having me. I'm glad to uh, to put this information out there. And again, big thanks to Shadow Man. Glad to, glad to be in this with you. And Mr. Fuji, yeah. awesome stuff, man. Can't wait to... Uh, uh, look forward to uh, uh, hunting with you guys in the future. And again, big shout out to my my Xbox group. You guys are awesome. You do amazing work. Hell yeah. For sure, man. Thanks, Kairos. Nice well, meeting you, Well, guys, too, have a good one. Take it easy. Ta-ta. And as always, peace. <laughs> peace. <laughs>